Okay, this is my Windsor Rapid. I'm just going to do a quick run around while all my caravans are open as I've just shown some people around. Just to show you quickly the comparison between them. This rooftop is down. As you can see, you've got cushions there to make up two doubles. One when the end goes out, another one there, and then you've got another double in there. It's also got a toilet down in here and full air conditioning in this van. That's a great van, the cooktop facilities, sink under there, great kitchen, good storage, and a TV that goes on there. So that's the Windsor Rapid with its reverse cycle air conditioning. When the pop top is down in that one. That expands from 16 foot to 20, oh, about 23 foot actually. This is my Adria. It's a great van again, it's a, um, European van made in Slovenia, I believe. Quite luxurious these ones. Full reverse cycle air conditioning, as you can see on the roof. And TV goes on there. And you've got your normal cooking sort of facilities in the European ones, very similar. Little sink, double bed, and a shower and toilet, which is very handy. And you can use these anywhere because they have gas hot water systems and gas fridges also. Okay, so that's the Adria 432PX. Very light caravan at only 910 kilos unloaded. Lots of storage also. I'll walk over to my other caravan. The other ones you can see aren't mine. This is the storage yard. Uh, this one is the Jayco Designer next to my Geist Exclusive. That's got the top up to show you how much more space you get with the pop tops when the roof's up. And you can see there, got your bunk beds up there, heaps of headroom. I'm six foot two and a bit, and uh, I can stand up here easily. And you've got two other beds down there, table and chairs goes here. And that can be made into a fifth bed too, that one. All my JCOs have the same kitchen actually. Virtually. Oh no, two of them, two out of three do. Four burner cooktop under there. Hard to do with one hand. And then that goes back down again. Pretty good fridges in most of them. Just like that, you can see. Good size fridge with a freezer. Also runs on gas. All the caravans have both gas and electrical fridges. Coming through, I'll just show you quickly the European Geist flagship model, I guess you'd say. Beautiful, big, luxurious caravan. Full toilet and shower. Separate bathroom like the other ones, except the toilet is separate to the shower, which a lot of people like. Okay, that turns into double bunks. Great cooktop and sink space, drainage board, TV, DVD player like the other ones, the other couple. And that turns into a queen or king size bed. The table can come out of there also and go down the middle. Um, I'll just show you the bathroom quickly. So you've got your full toilet, separate to your shower cubicle. Which is really handy. And good wardrobe in the corner there too, big space. That's the Geist exclusive. The most luxurious model I'd have. Reverse cycle air conditioning too. And then you've got the Jayco Starcraft, which is this one next to me. Again, different layout, but still has a uh, pop top. And still has a bunk bed in it also. All the Jaycos do. You've got a table and chairs there, turns into a double bed. Different layout of the kitchen, but still works. Little oven, electric oven. Got gas ones to go into, you can use with the butane gas cartridges, preferably outside. Or you could put them up on the bench. Uh, that will turn into a double bed, going across ways, and the cushion goes up the top, which folds down into another bunk bed. You've got a wardrobe at the end there. Same size fridge, there's the one next door. Okay, and then we've got the last one, my Chesney I can't show you at the moment because it's at the snow. It's the Silver Classic, but the Ches, this is the Westport 
which is virtually the same layout as the designer. So that's a nice fan, as you can see it's really high up off the ground. That's a roller as well. They all have external awnings except for the designer, which has a basic tent you can put on the side, but it's not great for high winds. Again, four burner cooktop. This will go off site 